rain like we usually would, but that's okay. Finally, get rid of that Jirachi. Oh my god, you went, really? You gonna hide What is with the double legendary on? Yo, what's up everyone? It's Carson Rock 35 here. Welcome back to another episode of a Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Last time we unlocked Saffron City, we didn't do anything in it. It was a shorter episode, but we have a lot to get to today. First of all, before we do absolutely anything in Saffron City, there are a few things we need to do. So we need to come ahead and go back over here to Lavender Town uh, and Route 8. The very first reason we need to do this is, oh shoot, we have these trainers, is our encounter in the Ghost Tower and completing the rest of the Ghost Tower. That is all something that we still need to do severely and we want to go ahead and knock that out and get a free encounter beforehand. So that is what we're going to do next. Our Pokemon are so over leveled though. It is ridiculous. Um, I'm hoping that catches up with us at some point. Um, because the one thing with this game is you can do so many things out of order like gyms four through six I think you can do completely out of order or at least four and five you can uh, switch back and forth um, That's kind of one of the things with this game that gets people so confused um, I'm not gonna shout anyone out who I know uh, Is definitely confused by those exact reasons <laughs> King Corfish um, but uh, I didn't say that. I keep calling him out in multiple episodes, and it's hilarious because he's a great butt of mine. <laughs> and, oh my god, if he ever saw that I call him out, I'm actually going to have to stream tip him one day and tell him I call him out in my Pokemon videos, and it's going to be hilarious. But here, we're in the Pokemon Tower. Um, we definitely need to come and get our encounter. So let's go ahead and zoom up and complete the rest of this. What is our encounter going to be? Or we can run downstairs if we don't want it. Encounter, please. We really want you. Okay. Absol. Not bad. Definitely a good mod to have on our team. It's a typing we don't have yet. I've never been a big fan of Absol. That's also just because a big part of him. I don't know how to use him. Um, I used him once or twice on the regular playthrough I did on my own for uh, Emerald because he's in the base game. But outside of that, I never really touched him. Um, I didn't even use him much. I think I actually replaced him in my team as well. Um, I think it was his moves that threw me off. Let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball at this guy. We can't damage him, so let's go ahead and see what we can get. One, two. Ooh, it was really close. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get this Absol, though. Um, he'd be a great addition to our team, just having a different typing of a Pokemon. Uh, once again, guys, though, we still need to figure out what we're going to do with this Eevee. I think... Oh, I can't... I see, fire types... I'd, I, if I get a fire type, I'd rather have not something that has is just the one move uh flareon is kind of stuck with that while we can get uh oh yes we caught the app so we can get things like jolteon vaporeon they have a better move set and tm set um so i think that's definitely a, a shout there boom adam wall you're going to be our boy here our absol thank you for subscribing to the channel we met a few days ago on pokefine so i do hope you check out this video and see you so adam where's my m and um how do you do spaces in pokemon um dot w for adam wall there we go that's how we do it uh, i mean that's how i'm going to do it so great we have that pokemon there let's go ahead and continue up and finish off the rest of this tower before we go and get him um even though we probably should because we could be actually training him actually that's probably a good idea who do we have on our team actually that has the exp share at the moment i think craig has the exp share at the moment um nick amy and lucas are all in their low 30s uh that's really insane and most of our other pokemon on there um I i'm thinking of going with uh jolteon honestly um maybe vaporeon for uh our ev i, I think i want to knock uh, flareon out of the rubbing entirely purely because he has a i think a worse move set when it comes to possible tms and then other ones like Jolteon, we can at least also get like Shadow Ball on him. And then another move of his is Last Resort. I don't know what level he learns it though. Le Last Resort isn't Stab, but it's a powerful move. So let's go ahead and open up the PC and let's deposit. Um, let's deposit our Magic Cart. Perfect. Okay. And we can go ahead and withdraw. Well, actually, what's your move set before we pull you out? Dark type, and you have real. You're not gonna do anything for us. Okay, so actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, keep Magic Carp as a death fodder. The reason for this is, until we figure out the level up moveset and what we can do with that Absol, because he doesn't have a good moveset at all right now, I will look into that off screen in between episodes uh, for some information and everything, what we can use him, but I'd rather have just a death fodder mon on our team at the moment. So we need to go ahead and still get to the rest of this tower done. So we need to come back up here. 
So, actually, I have a question for the day for you guys. I've been trying to think of things I can do to interact with you more naturally in episodes. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try to have a question of the day every day for you guys, uh, and a topic that we can generally talk about. So it's it's something that I can generally talk about. So I don't. Def- talk about the game too much because one of the biggest problems with these pokemon recordings is i run out of things to talk about because i don't want to talk about the game because so many people know the game um so i don't have exact topics while things with pokey find or my one-off videos it's a little different to talk about what i'm doing and what's going on so i figured a question of the day over across all my videos this would help us out overall anyways and give us a bit more flow for you guys. And I, I can involve you guys in my content, which is something I severely want to do. It's one of the reasons I created Pokefine Podcast, was so you guys could comment, I could talk about your comments and your subjects over there. So if you haven't commented already, make sure you do, and comment, comment, like, and subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. And it's, it's all free, and you can always change your mind later on, and I genuinely appreciate it, I really do. Um, but the question for today is, well, what is your current, favorite tv series or movie or something that you're currently watching a lot or uh, a show you watch over and over again when you don't know what to watch something like that one of those type of shows nothing too specific or too general uh, uh something i've really been re-watching cr- like crazy lately is avatar the last airbender i've been loving it uh, i i fell into the show years ago and I, I never watched the show all the way through but i always wanted to finish it but for a long time I had nowhere I could watch it, and they had finally released it on Netflix. Tiny Mushroom, I don't think we can do anything with that but sell it. They finally decided to release it on Netflix after I'd gone out and bought all the, all the seasons on DVD. So I'm re-watching them again, and they have it on Amazon Prime now. Avatar The Last Airbender blew up within the last two years. It's crazy. It's gone to two or three different streaming services. It's literally insane. Um, but I've, I've been loving that show. If you guys have never seen that show and you're looking for, you're someone who enjoys animated shows or something that's just well written overall and anything like that, I recommend Avatar highly. It's just a well written show. It's got a story, good storyline, uh, good character build and everything like that. I'm trying not to say too much without, uh, giving it away. Ooh, Magical Leaf. Yes. Um, what is Magical Leaf? 60, the foe is attacked with a strange leaf that cannot be a faded. That's cool. So it's got 5 power over Razor Leaf. And we also have Solar Beam, Gust, and Stomp. I think we just, uh, 20 PP, it's only 5. Yeah, let's go ahead and you get rid of Razor Leaf and learn Magical Leaf. No big deal either. That's perfect. And it can never miss. Easy peasy, Lemon Squeezy. Let's go ahead and get all these Poke Loots. But, yeah, Avatar at Lost Airbender has been the... Uh, show I have been grinding out like crazy lately. I've watched it. I well, I, I watched it a lot within the last two weeks, and it's weird to say that because I'm still watching it. Um, right now, I I went through and watched all my favorite episodes, and now I'm going back and actually watching the series in full. Um, so it's a little weird way to do it, especially since I'm going to be watching uh, multiple. Did I get all the loot down there? I think so. Uh, all the uh, episodes uh, multiple times, some of them, but uh, I still love the show. Um, the continuation of the show for Legend of Korra, I don't think it's it's really hard uh, when I, I talk about Legend of Korra because I think the potential of that show was amazing. I, I think they started off well with the show, and I think that they, they industrialized the world enough, but not too much, and they really gave that rusty uh, punk steam feel. Uh, steampunk type feel and I, I really enjoyed most of it and the artistic style and the switch up from avatar was a big switch and i i think it was a not a bad switch i think it was actually very good it, w- it was really cool that one of the most reasons i enjoyed avatar was you could very clear the fighting and the choreography for such an animated show was there and you could really tell what was going on which isn't always the case in animated shows and stuff um so that's something i really enjoyed and that was a, a lot better in uh korra too so i really appreciate that but the reason i have a problem with legend of korra uh and this isn't the writer's fault in any means at all i, I don't blame the writers for this i blame whoever was casting the show at the time and the reason for that is is when you look at Legend of Korra, it's not one big story arc. It's a lot of stories, and each season's got its own story, which is fine if you plan that out and you've done it right so there's a proper flow between it. But Legend of Korra was never really continued. Uh, and what I mean by that is each time they finished a season, they didn't know if they were going to get another season or not. So they couldn't do long story arcs. They didn't know what they could do next. So each time they got a renewed season, they had to come up with something new. And I, I don't... 
like everything that happens into it, and I don't always like how they write uh, uh, Korra. I feel like she could have been written a lot, lot better in terms of Avatar wisdom and talk ofness, I guess. I don't want to explain it too much and spoil anything, especially if you guys uh, haven't gone into the show or whatever. I don't want to say too much, um, but it, it's it's not for me completely. I still watch parts of it every once in a while. It, it is something I do enjoy because it is different than Avatar, and I still get that same uh, lore effect from the Avatar lore, lore, not lure, like fishing, lore, uh, O instead of a U, um, but it, it it's still there. I, I do enjoy some of it. Um, something that they do, something that makes me so mad with those two shows are, is the fact that they canceled season four of Avatar, and Avatar The Last Airbender was supposed to have four seasons originally, and we only have three for the show. That's because they canceled the fourth season to make the movie, and please, please, God, fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, or not, if you don't ever watch the movie, it's so bad. Like, if you watch the movie on a standalone, knowing absolutely nothing about Avatar The Last Airbender, no connection to the show, maybe it could be a stand movie, an okay one, like three stars or something. I don't know, maybe a 56, 70%, 56, 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. I have no idea. I never watched the movie fully. I've seen enough clips and reviews about it that I've already, I don't need to watch it. I know what they mean. I know what they're talking about. It took three clips for me to understand. Um, and it, it, it's just not worth it. And I, I think they did a very terrible job. And they pronounce names wrong the entirety of the movie. And it's so annoying. Like, they say Aang. Aang's the main protagonist in Avatar The Last Airbender. And they call him Ang. Really? How do you, how do you do that? Ang, really? <laughs> A's are a hard, hard sounding letter unless they're put with usually after a different sounding letter like like S. So you put S after uh, A after S, it makes a sa. So sad, sadly, that type of sound. But A at the beginnings, it's a hard A. So ang, not ang. It's it's. I don't understand where they got that from. And so let's go ahead and get through these Team Rocket members with easy peasy. Uh, uh, Lucas and Craig are leveling up like crazy. Craig's got the EXP share, so that's absolutely fantastic. So, honestly, that's all I have to talk about for those shows. But <laughs> it 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 was uh um very interesting uh, when I first saw clips of that movie and found out uh how they said names. So that was no fun at, at all for me. So I can't wait to read you guys' comments. Seriously, make sure you guys comment down below movies or TV shows or anything you want to talk about related towards that and make sure it's appropriate for a YouTube comment section um, because anything will be health review if it is not. Um, but anyways, I'd love to read those comments and discuss them in the next Pokefine uh, podcast. That'd be a great topic for us to discuss. So gladly uh, put those down in the comments below. I'd love to read them. Let's go ahead and water pulse this Torkoal. Yeah, out of here, man. I don't want you. I have no idea what he's going to send in. A Sharkpedo, we'll just go with Bite. That's not going to do much, but we can go ahead and finish off the Sharkpedo before he can do anything to us. Easy peasy. And I don't have to worry about healing my Mons, because only Lucas is really hurt right now. And Craig's up there, too, in level, so easy peasy. Let's go ahead and switch out Lucas, though. Um, I think we can put Craig up front. What what are Craig's moves again? That is another thing we need to check out before we put him into battle. Astonish, fake out, absorb. Oh, I didn't mean to go over. That That is one thing I, I, I do get annoyed by this is how they can switch my Pokemon from my page. And it doesn't always let me switch back. Okay, what are your moves? Astonish, fake out, absorb, and nature power. No damage, 20, 40, 30. Uh one stab and okay so he's not really worth putting out there yet but he's got some level so let's go ahead and item take yeah let's go ahead and take the xp share off him um i don't have anyone to put it on uh, i could keep it on craig i could give it to omni p and start getting a gyarados but i'm gonna switch him out anyways at some point i don't want to level up eevee because eevee uh moves in tm pokemon and we don't know if we want espion so i think we're just gonna leave it for now Okay, let's go ahead and uh, put Nick up front now. And let's just go ahead and lead off the rest of this battle. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, Sludge, we'll go ahead and wipe the floor with this team. I'm not worried at all. And go ahead and continue through. So, um, instead of talking about uh, a TV show, um, what what else? I could talk about some of the movies I really enjoyed. Oh, I could talk about 
uh, War of Tomorrow. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I do highly recommend the movie. Um, it does have its problems like every other movie, but I feel that the problems that are pointed out in the Tomorrow War movie in Amazon Prime original, so sorry if you don't have Amazon Prime, you can't watch it. Um, it, it, it it's definitely good, um, and there are problems with it, as comes every movie, but it's not as bad as what people like to put out there. And I understand some things of what they said, but I, I feel like the, the basis of the story, they actually did a really good job with it. It was in... Uh, a movie that hadn't pulled me in the way it had uh, for a very long time. And, and, and it gave me a really good, I don't know, vibe when watching the movie. I really, really liked the movie. I think the overall part, uh, story plot had the, a good baseline and everything. And once again, the main actor was Chris Pratt. And I'm a big fan of Chris Pratt from Jurassic World, even though I love the original movies a bit more just because of sentimental value. Uh... Um, and because Jurassic World ended at the same ending as a, one of the first movies, so it's not as fair or fun if they're going to keep ending in the same way. Uh, and I loved him in the Guardians the Galaxy movies for Marvel. Uh, I love Chris Pratt. He's a great actor. I've not, not liked him in anything I've seen, so easy peasy. Um, so, and I definitely hope to see him in a lot more uh, solo action films and everything. Even though I think a lot of people want Chris Pratt to go back to comedy, like when he was in... Uh, it's called Parks and Recreation. He was a big comedian in that. Um, so I'm just I'm curious what people uh, think about that. So uh, I need to sell some of my items here though. So what can we sell? Powder jar, useless corn chase, um, soft sand, repel, antidote. Full. What do we have? We can get rid of the pink scar. Oh, we have two of those. Yeah, we'll just sell those off. We don't need uh, the zinc. Sell you off. We don't need the carbos. Tiny mushroom. And so you off and and the XP we got plenty of things to sell max of liquor yes um, and I think that is all that we have to sell so buy what can we buy we have forty eight thousand let's just get a couple more super potions um, seven thousand yeah we can just pick up ten more super potions and pick up uh, five more great balls just to be sure um, I know we have at least two or three more antidotes pick revives are useless let's get a uh, uh, paralyzed heal. We'll get one paralyzed heal. Okay. I don't know if I actually bought that or not. We're going to leave. So, I know we can come down this way, too. Um, because this is route... What is it? 21? 12. Route 12. Um, and I don't have my fishing pole to get an encounter here yet. Um, but we can go ahead and continue this way. Um, I forget where this actually takes you. Because I know it's always a different option going this way. Instead of, uh, straight to Saffron and doing all that like I did in the last couple episodes. Um, ooh, what is acid armor? The user alters its cells to liquidify itself and sharpen Ray's defense. That's pretty cool, but I don't think it's worth it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of acid armor. I'm not going to learn that. Uh, let's come through here. Please don't battle me. Thank you. And, oh yeah, this is the Snorlax block path route. Okay, so we can't go through here yet. Okay, I should have remembered that, honestly. Um, how do we get the flute again? I don't remember how we get the f the flute. I don't. I, I really don't remember how we got the flute. Does anyone want to tell me how we get the flute to get rid of the Snorlax? Because I know we have to do that to actually progress in the game, but I do not remember how to do that. I just don't remember where we get the f flute at. Um, because what was what was this old man give us again? Uh, we gotta talk to him. I did not talk to him, and I don't remember what he said. Uh, Carson, your Pokedex quest is the one that requires the strong dedication and love for Pokemon quest. My favorite should be the well, but I'd like you to have it. See, uh, and there's the Poke, literally Poke flute. As I were talking about it, it's literally right there. Okay, so that's perfect. We have the Poke flute now, but we're gonna go ahead and go back to Saffron because we can get a few more encounters there, and I th and probably take on a couple Team Rocket members. Otherwise, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Um, I know we didn't get a whole lot to done today, and it was a bit of a shorter one once again, but I think the little bit of a shorter episodes are, uh, a little bit better for everyone, and I, I think that the 20 minutes versus the, the 25 to 40 that I was doing is, uh, overall a better strategy for our videos. Um, and once we get through the game, the gyms, once we get past this part, are gonna start flying by really easily. Um, especially since we're already over-leveled, we need to come through and get 
uh, our Pokemon though. So we need to heal. Where's the Pokemon? It's over here. I was like, where's the Pokemon Center in this town? Let's go ahead and heal up here. And let's go to that, uh, the gym over here. Because wait, we are at, what gym are we at? We are technically at three badges. Isn't Saffron the fifth gym? It's not the fourth gym, is it? Because Giovanni's eight. I really don't remember. I, I gotta get, I gotta know my Pokemon games better, guys. <laughs> but we're gonna have a lot of troubles when we come to my next uh, Nuzlocke. Because I've been thinking about doing a blind one for my next one instead of doing Emerald. Because um, I think that would be a lot more fun. Go ahead and switching it up and doing a blind Nuzlocke before we do another game that we actually know. Uh, and that and that'd be really interesting and it would be a, a longer series too most likely um, Considering I would have no idea where I'd be going at all um, It would cause me a lot of problems um, But uh, let me know if you guys have a specific game if you want me to do for a blind Nuzlocke uh, Like I said the only real Pokemon games I've really played are Fire Red and Emerald uh, So it's the first for the third gen of the first gen game and then the third gen game itself um and i played the longer one too ruby and sapphire aren't as long as emerald um and i don't know the differences between all the puzzles um but i do know the difference between emerald and ruby and sapphire is the fact that it's the sky pillar with uh rayquaza um those are the differences between them all and i really lost nick there holy crap nick i was not paying attention i am so sorry man let's go ahead and we're gonna go heal up again uh so we have two different pokemon we're gonna get here um but the statics aren't randomized i don't know what it's usually hitmonchan and hitmonlee right those are our two options um so we're gonna get a fighting type here uh once again i do apologize that i forgot to randomize these static encounters I will double check that as a main priority for the next time we do uh, a Nuzlocke. Um, but it, it's not a super big deal. Uh, most of the rules, actually every other rule, um, is still in place for the game. And it works. So I'm okay with this. It, it just, actually in all fairness, it just hurts me more. Um, so I, we can go with that. Because I don't have the advantage. I could easily get a legendary or something from any of these statics. And it's just not going to work. And oh my god. God, okay, so um, Pokemon, Jirachi, let's go with Amy. I think that's our best bet. And a bite. Okay, um, a water pulse. Please survive. No, we're going to go ahead and use a, where's a super potion? Super potion. I'm in the wrong page. Wrong page. Where's my super potions? We severely need it. And I don't think I have another option. Okay, perfect. So, Psychic Steel type. Or is he... I don't think it matters which T's primary, but this is not going to be fun. We'll just go ahead and go with Guillotine. It's a one-hit KO move. We just have to land it, so we're going to keep using it. And it... Really? It, you missed all five times? Oh, my God. Come on, Blastoise. I can take one more hit. Or not. Jeez, this Jirachi is annoying. Okay, one more water pulse. Please don't wake up. Okay, now we're going to use a super potion again on ourselves. Boom. Okay, he's confused. Just use rest again. Um, rain dance. Make our, our, mo our water moves more powerful, honestly. This is what we're going to do. And actually, I don't know. We don't have the ability rain dish, so we're not going to get health from uh, rain like we usually would. But that's okay. Finally, get rid of that Jirachi. Oh my god. you Really? You're going to hide it? What is with the double legendary on teams in this game? Seriously, Giovanni had Mewtwo and Latios. Most of his members had Latios or Latios of some sort. This is ridiculous. Okay, get out of here. This is insane. Okay, and now we have to battle you. So what do you got for us? A Okay, let's use Sludge Bomb. Easy peasy. And it was a critical. Next level 37. Okay, Politote. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go out to Lucas. Make sure we get some XP on someone else for once. Like, seriously. Oh, Politoed, oh, stop putting my mons to sleep. And I used Gus, not Razor Leaf, Magical Leaf, I mean, last time. I didn't realize that. I guess it wouldn't have made a difference. Oh, my God. There we go. Come on, stop parasonging. No, parasonging in sleep is a bad strategy. I don't like it. Okay, so now we can get our mons. Oh, wait, it's, it's randomized. Holy crap, I didn't expect this. So it's a Scyther or a Onyx. Ooh, here's the thing. Do wait, do we have a metal coat? Because we could get Steelix or Scizor. And I'm okay with either. Yes, we have two metal coats. How do we get two metal coats? An item to be held that will uh, that boost the power of steel type moves. And that, that, oh my god. So do we want Scizor or Steelix? Okay, let's think about this. Because this is where we're going to end off today's episode is choosing this guy. 
Sizzle or Steelix. Now let's think about this. They're both Steel types, so that's a weakness to Fire. But we have Blastoise, and we have plenty of other Mons and everything, so we're not worried about the Fire weakness. Um, it would be 4x weak to Fire if we got Sizzle, because he's a Steel f Bug. But we don't have a Bug type on our team either. We have good counters for now uh, to the opposite of the um, Fire types. Oh, uh, Scizor is very strong. He he's quick moving. He things like bullet punch. Um, I th I just I have no idea how to use either of these Pokemon. I've never used them before. I have no idea what their general move sets are, what moves they can learn, what their base stats are. I do not know. So I think you know what, Lee. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I think we should go with Scizor. Because of the speed and the attack power, but the attack power with the defense, if you guys think that is better for the Steelix in the fact that we will only be 2x weak instead of 4x weak to fire is better, let me know down in the comments below. Whatever is the top rated comment for the vote, that's the vote that's what I'm going to go with. So I will see you guys all later. Make sure to comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you guys all did enjoy it, and peace, peace.